All right, we're going to solve quadratics using square roots. So this is going to be part one of three different videos uh, looking at solving quadratics using square roots. So the big idea here is when we have this quadratic, 3x squared plus 5 equals 17. Having the square on the x is what makes it a quadratic. But the idea is we really want to get x by itself. Now, when you're trying to get x by itself, the goal there is we want to remove all the numbers, exponents, addition, subtraction, all of that away from the x. So we want to get this 3, that square, and that 5 from the left side and put it on the right side. That is the goal. Now, a big thing people struggle with is, well, what do we get rid of first? The 3, the square, or the 5? Here's how you know. You're actually going to want to do the order of operations backwards. So wherever the x is, we want to get rid of any addition, subtraction first. Then we'll get rid of any multiplication, division. Then we'll work on the exponents. And then finally, if there's any parentheses, we'll, we'll work on anything inside the parentheses last. So in this first one, we have 3x squared plus 5 equals 17. So if I want to get rid of addition, subtraction, I'm looking at 3 times x squared. So I have a multiplication. I have squared, which is an exponent plus 5. So I'm going to get rid of this plus 5 first. So I'm going to start by subtracting 5 from both sides. Now when I do that on the left side, I'm going to be just left with 3x squared. And on the right side, I'm going to have 12. So I got rid of addition subtraction. After that, we want to get rid of multiplication division. I have 3 times x squared, which if we divide by 3, that's going to give me x squared equals 4. So I'm slowly peeling away everything to try and get that x all by itself. Finally, I have an x with a square. To get rid of a square, we're going to do a square root. So if we square root both sides, what I get is x equals, now, when we're dealing with a square root of 4, what we're going to get is plus or minus 2. Because the square root of 4 uh, is plus or minus 2. Now, one thing I want to talk about with this is, when we did solving quadratics by graphing, we had three scenarios show up. We could have a quadratic that goes through and intercepts the x-axis twice, two solutions. That's why we have positive 2 and negative 2 here. We could have a quadratic that's going to come down and touch once, which is one solution, and we might see that in our further examples. Or we could have a quadratic that is going to not intercept the x-axis at all, which would be no solution. So we might have a plus or minus, we might just have one answer, or we might have no solutions. So let's move on to the next one. We have negative 2x squared plus 14 equals 14. Again, order of operations backwards to get x alone. So I have negative 2 times x squared plus 14. First thing I'm going to move away is that 14. So when I subtract 14 from both sides, I get negative 2x squared equals 14 minus 14, 0. Still working to try and get that x by itself. The next thing I would do is divide by negative 2 on both sides. And that's going to give me x squared equals 0. Because negative 2, negative 2 cancels. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. Uh, to get rid of the square, we're going to do a square root. And when you take the square root of 0, we get zero, not a plus or minus zero, just zero. So we ended up with just one solution here, x equals zero. So we go on to the next one, x squared plus 14 equals five. So again, I want to work the order of operations backwards. I have an x with a square and a plus 14. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract 14 from both sides, and this is going to give me x squared equals 5 minus 14 is negative 9. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is get rid of that square, so we're going to do a square root. Now the square root of negative 9. I want to be careful here. Uh, a lot of people are going to think we're going to do plus or minus 3, but let's check that on a calculator. If you do the square root of negative 9, what happens is you get a non-real answer there. 
because in fact we cannot do square roots at this point in time of negative numbers. So this would be like the type of graphs where we had no intersections. So that means we're going to have no solution on this one. And that was pretty basic, solving quadratic equations using square roots, part one.